Welcome to the tutorial series on organizing, organizing and coding data. This is Dr. Amanda Rackinson Zapku, and I'm going to show you how to compute or develop a score for a, an instrument. And this can be a full instrument, it could be a subscale um, that you want to go ahead and compute a score for. So normally when you get your data, you have all of the individual items. And here I have the individual items for the classroom community scale, which has two subscales, the learn scale and the connect scale. I'm going to compute a score for the learn scale right now. Now I will note that several items on my scale needed to be reversed scored and I've already done that. So once I reverse scored those items, and some scales have reverse scoring, some don't, I can then go ahead and compute a score for the whole entire instrument or the scale. So I'm going to go to transform. I'm going to go to compute variable. Now this is a little bit laborious in SPSS, um, but this is how you do it and there's really not a workaround to it. So first of all, I'm going to uh, enter a title for my target variable and I'm gonna call it learn and I'm gonna call it the raw score. You use raw scores for this scale. Sometimes you use averages, learn raw. Now you'll notice that I put an underscore between the two words. That's because if you have any spaces, SPSS will err um, whenever you type in a, a variable. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click the first item and I'm gonna put it there and then I'm gonna click plus. Then I'm gonna do the second item and click plus. And I do this for each and every one of the items on the learn scale. I'm very careful not to have any extra spaces because again, if there's any extra spaces, uh, you will see an error. So we're gonna keep going and add all the, the scale or all of the items here. And as you can see, I have them labeled learn so it's easy to identify them. You may have them as numbers or the um, actual questions may be here. So here I have all 10 items and I've added them all together because in this I add them all together. And then I go ahead and I click OK. And um, you can see that SPSS says it computed the sum of all these scores and I don't really need to save my output. And if I scroll over here on my data view at the very end, you can see I have my learn raw score. Now sometimes different uh, instruments require not the raw score, just the sum, but they, they require an average. If I want to do the average, SPSS, I could do it all in one computation, but sometimes SPSS messes things up. So I often say, go ahead and compute the raw score. Then go ahead, if you need the average, go back into transform, compute variable, go ahead and reset. So that clears everything. And if I want the average of my raw score, I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna get the, the learn raw, and then I'm going to divide it by the number of items on the scale, which is 10. And then I'm gonna call this variable learn, again, underscore average, and then I'm going to click okay. And again, you'll see the output. And here at the end, I have my learn average score. So that's how you compute a score in SPSS. 